Jen and Julian, and you are listening to episode 22 of X Appeal. <laughs> You're about Cue to the give birth. the music. I am. You're really about to give birth at this point. Oh, I'm really popping. Yeah. Um, especially in this dress. I feel like I'm really popping in the dress. So, wow. yes, I am officially... Ooh, I am nine months. Well, by the time this airs, who knows? I might have already, already popped. Have a, oh, wow. <laughs> we tape these episodes in advance. A little but, bit. But uh, as of this taping date, I am nine months pregnant. That I can't crazy. believe time flies, Julian. Time flies. But can I? So first, he's late then. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait. wait a second. Can I first tell you about a dream that oh. I had? Yeah, you texted me about it, but dream, I don't because you know how like they get they get like crazy and vivid and irrational and all the, those good things. It's so the second time I you dream about me. I had to text you about this. And, okay. Okay. So I had what a dream happened? that you and I were, I think we might have been here. Okay. It's it's not like as crazy think it, as you think it is. But we were here and we were drinking Trulies. <laughs> and we were giving each other um, like like facials, like, like a face mask. So like, like a girl's night. Like a <laughs> Having a girls' night. So we're having like a girls' a proper night. Proper girls' night, yeah. With Trulies, <laughs> it's so specific. Uh, grape Trulies, grape. I can what? taste it. Really? I've yes. never even had a Truly. Dude, I don't even I hate know. Trulies, but in this dream, it tasted so fucking good because that's how deprived I am. I think your I baby never, might be an alcoholic. I have never wanted to drink more. Like I really have to say, that's, that's the first like thing you're gonna do. Some ladies miss uh, sushi, and you know, I miss drinking a lot. And really? I didn't, listen, I didn't have like a problem or anything like that, but that would be like an outlet that I would use to, you know, release stress yeah. and like anxiety and and not having not being able to do that for nine months. Have you has you, been uh, you ever been into weed at all? I um did I ha yeah I've done edibles I've done mushrooms um yeah. but yeah no I'm I don't I can't do see the edibles I can't do. Because I feel like it gives me too much of an out of body experience. Okay. And I don't know. I just I don't feel like because I have I have taken I took twenty five milligrams. Yeah, that's a of lot. An edible one. The the first ever time that I did edibles, I took twenty five milligrams. Oof. I was with you were somebody. High for three I was days. with somebody who worked for a marijuana company, and okay. he was a lawyer for the for the marijuana com company, and and he was like, oh, don't worry. And, you know, it, I wasn't feeling anything. And I'm like, maybe I'm one of those people who just doesn't feel anything, you know, it's just too early, weed, whatever. And it was too early. I took, yeah, I took it all at once. Now I have never felt worse. For how long? It lasted For, at least oh, at least day. seven. It was seven hours. It was definitely at least seven hours that God. I felt this way. I was making myself throw up because I wanted that badly to, yeah, to just break the, the experience to be over. I needed it to be over. That's that's terrible. It when I do worst. edibles, I do like seven milligrams. Mm -hmm. But you see, that's funny because when I have like a long day or a long week, I'm I, I switched to where before like a glass of whiskey, a little beer would would be better. And um, and then when I went through this like um, this diet right where I couldn't have specific stuff like and I couldn't drink, detox diet yeah, yeah, that I that I had to do. Medically, be the way. By the way, it was medically yeah, prescribed. Right. I didn't choose to do this, uh, so I didn't. I, I couldn't drink, and then that, that's when I started to smoke a little bit more. I, I wouldn't really smoke randomly here and there, but like I, now, I kind of enjoy uh, relieving stress with a few hits on the joint than an smoke. actual glass of. Yeah. Of, of, uh, well, of, maybe. Of I mean, see, that's like to me. I, I, it might feel like a different kind of high if you smoke. Yeah. If you smoke it. But I, I'm not like a smoker. I don't like any yeah. piece of that. So I, I know it's a different vibe. That's for everything. sure. So you miss alcohol. I miss it so much, Julian. I can't I can't tell you how much like I'm you know me. I'm fun. I'm fun, Jen. I, I like to go out and I like and to laugh. You have and I to, like to, to drink. Yeah, stuff, I like but. to say and do goofy stuff and dance poorly. I'm, and I'm Jen the goof. I'm the goof. I like the, I'm like the I goof. am. I am the goof. You I sound so. Been a in nine months. You, the fact that you say I like goofing around, I'm like a goofball. That makes you sound like a total nerd. I know. 
<laughs> like if somebody if i was matching with someone online and they're like they're like, like what do you like to do that? I'm well I'm, I, I guess people might call me a little goofball i like to goof around i'd be unmatched <laughs> yeah. right Some right people might say i like yeah, to have a good time yeah this well is... listen i mean so uh okay so okay so alcohol you miss because you're a goofball but yeah, yeah. what about what, what this is maybe a random question to ask but can you have sex or how does that work? What? Like is your, you your man, how, how the bees work? Um, yeah, yes, you can. And doctors say that you can have sex up until, you know, the, the day you deliver basically. And sometimes sex can, uh, help you deliver, no delivery. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but here's the thing. So, you know, you see, okay, let me ask you this question. Cause I don't know if, 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 uh, you're getting the right appraisal of this either. Okay. When you watch, uh, or what, what do you think a pregnant woman's sex drive is like? I would, I would assume it's not great. I don't think I, I would assume a woman doesn't have a huge sex drive because from my understanding, you get late, like women don't feel sexy with the belly. They don't feel, they don't feel sexy you know, uh, in general, tired, the back hurts. So I'm, I would assume the sex drive isn't there. Okay. But that's not what I've been seeing on like the apps and, and basically like the in apps? media. Yeah. Cause I have a couple of pregnancy apps and they're okay. like, Oh, you know, it's, it's, you might even feel a boost in your sex drive, uh, toward the end of your pregnancy. I, and I, I applaud some women who, who do, who do want to have sex all the time. And I know it can go both ways. I know that, you know, there's sometimes you can, you want to have sex like all the time in your second or third trimester. But for me, my sex drive plummeted. Really? Plummeted. I, I have, and it's, and I am with, I, let me just preface this by saying that I am with the most loving, compassionate, understanding, empathetic person I've ever dated. Yeah. And you know, he, he loves sex. He's a man. He loves sex. I love sex. Yeah. I mean, I, I loved it before I got pregnant and, and I know I'll love it after, but during it is a different ball game and I can't explain why. Like I just, did I it, think a lot of it has to do with, yeah. I mean, did it drop as soon as you got pregnant or uh, as you it, got more and more, no, bigger, it, bigger, it, it, dropped? it dropped almost as soon as I got pregnant. Whoa. Yeah. Does so that the happen first often? Trimester, you feel super tired and like nauseous all the time. You don't really feel like having sex. And then as you get bigger, like, you know, you, your belly grows and it gets to be uncomfortable. And I look at myself naked in the mirror now and I'm just like, what the hell happened? Like gained 30 pounds in six or seven months, you know, like my, my, everything everything's expanded like yeah. my ass has turned into <laughs> cottage cheese <laughs> i have dimples in places i didn't have dimples before um it really makes you feel super super down on yourself and when when i don't feel Good. sexy yeah. i'm not in a mood to be sexy i understand that you know i feel and like you'll bounce back though you're the type of person who's gonna bounce back as soon I'm as you can you're gonna work out can. you're gonna yeah. get a trainer also i got a few trainers by the way that will kick your ass oh, that's if you great need i i need it i need like it. women trainers too, i need if you it don't yeah creep. Uh, uh, yeah but but that's that's the thing it's like so it's partly that the other part of it is i don't i can't explain why but like i just don't want to be touched oh yeah so is it's, that is that that's it causing has issues then, to no? do with him? He's he's I think he's so hot. He's um he's desirable. Like, but as a as a partner, it's really put a honestly, it's put like a that's the biggest strain that is put on our relationship. Is that I would say so Just then because you know he wants to feel desired too. Yeah. So he I was going to say, how do you how do you give how can how do you give that to your partner, knowing you're don't feel like no it's such a complicated situation it's right because so it has nothing to do with them you just don't feel like giving to your partner what they need because it's just it's just in you it's just like right now i can't give it to you so how do you make it work i don't know but i mean on those rare occasions that we do have sex like i can feel the baby moving in my belly yeah and, it and just nothing will take you out. quicker out of a out of, of a <laughs> in out of the moment than than feeling that but i i, I try to get do him things. like Getting him an escort for the night. Oh, you know what I actually said? What? I said, I know you want to feel desirable and that's important to you. And it's important to me that you feel that way. It really is. Okay. Um, 
That's and nice. I know that you're not getting that sexually right now from me. Okay. But if you want to go, if you want to go out with your friends and go to a bar and flirt with girls, go do it. You know what I mean? I know that you're, I know that you're loyal to me. I know that you're not going anywhere and I know that you love me and, and you're going to come right back home. But if that's something that you need to make yourself feel better, I love you and, and go and do that. I, I would have no problem with that. Honest to God. Yeah, but he will. That doesn't make yeah, sense. Yeah, he doesn't want to. He doesn't course. want to. Like um, you're you're about to have his baby. I'm pretty sure out of every woman in the world, he, there's nobody he wants attention from. I know. If he did, then you run a, so run we've, we've run away. To, <laughs> we've kind of had to shift the way that we express our desire for each other. Like we will maybe make out more for longer than we used to. Um <sighs> yeah, we'll take a, sounds... we'll take baths together. We'll um just like st like look into each other's eyes and talk in bed um, to kind of create that intimacy. You have to do what you can. You'll find this out eventually if you ever find it in your cold, dead heart. To no, have a child, no. To have a child. No, listen, listen, You'll listen. Understand. I think I think it's sorry. First of all, I don't mean to laugh, but from <laughs> a natural. man's standpoint, a man's standpoint, right? That sounds beautiful. It sounds too beautiful no, to be appealing to it's a man. It's beautiful. You guys take bath and look each other in the eyes. I, I love that. But you have to like I get that it. No, no. Yeah, to, yes, to create. I understand. But this does not solve the physical need no. of. Of course. I know he's he wants us to like rip each other's clothes off. and But I just can't get there. And just, I can't just, explain just, why. Just do it with your hands. What? Just do it with your hands. You don't need to have sex. You grab some coconut oil and oh, just... Oh, Lord. How what? impersonal oh, is that? Let's not bring the Lord like... <laughs> into that. Not right now. I feel like that's so impersonal. It's just what? like... Okay, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Then? Hold like... on a second. Oh, my God. Why don't oh, you I'm just, so like, glad we're talking about Close your eyes and use the other hand and do it yourself. No, 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 no. Hold on. So you prefer for your man <laughs> to go out with his boys forcefully... Create a connection with a stranger Not so that a he well, uh, like flirt. Flirting. Uh, flirting is a somewhat of a connection. When you flirt with someone and they flirt back, you're having a connection. Well, just so, just so he's so, reminded that he's attractive. I get it. Clearly, I'm uh, okay. not doing it for no, him. Right no, now. no, 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 no. Because here's the thing, right? So you prefer that. Also, him. He's gonna get a. He's gonna flirt with someone. This person will flirt back, and then he gets nothing out of it. This is okay. He feels good for a second, but then it's like I can't act on it anyways because my well, my, my gonna, friend. I'm just telling you, Julian. He's gonna want to touch me, and I sometimes I'm telling you sometimes I don't want to be touched. I, I understand. It's a weird ass feeling that I've never felt before. Okay, sure, but it's it, 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 it. I don't understand how him going to flirt is better than you just taking three minutes. With a little bit of coconut oil I, and just I doing it. I almost just feel like it's like a, a, a pity hand job. It's like not it's a like pity a, hand job. It that's, is. that's what it's better than saying go flirt with people you can't fuck. And then once you come home after a few drinks and you're dying to go up with me, you still can't have it. That's the worst. There's just something sad about it. It's not sad. <laughs> Trust me. It's not sad. Listen, listen. It's great. Guys love a good handy over sometimes sex it's amazing we what? gotta do it the right way of course you do it the right way don't don't do it dry just grab some nice coconut oil dim the lights and be like listen and also if not a pity it's like listen up i'm not feeling like it's having like, sex I'll throw you a bone here buddy and like you know it's all about how you do it I and, just, and just be like okay just pretend for a second just be like listen i'm not feeling sexy but i really want to please you that's it. As a guy, that's all we need. I know. We don't, we don't, it's not, we won't see it as a PD hand job. It's like, oh, I'm going to get something. It's for me. But how do She's I then going, say, don't touch me? Just as long as you like, don't touch me. Just say that. It's like, listen, I don't feel well, this way. I don't feel like, listen, I'm not feeling sexual. I'm not feeling like I want to be touched. I don't feel hot. I don't feel whatever. Make it clear. It has nothing to do with you. It is just like, I'm, 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 it's just how I'm feeling from the pregnancy. I'm about to give birth, whatever. It has nothing to do with you. You were very, I'm still attracted to you. I love you very much. I can't wait for you to be a dad on stuff. I know you have needs that I can't fulfill right now with my Vivi. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fulfill it another, the Vivi. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fulfill it. I'm gonna fulfill it another way. Baby, you just a little baby. Boom. You take coconut oil. And then you get to town. It's gonna be so quick. It's just, it's just, not, it's gonna know, be it's, so quick. Don't, don't tell me it's gonna be so quick. It's gonna because, be quick. Okay, like I get it. Like I'm not 
it's not torture for me. No, yeah, well, it sounds like you're no, also, by the way, there is a no man would say I'd rather do it myself. There's it's so much better to have a, a your partner, a girl, give your hand job than you doing it yourself. But you just gotta know how to do it. It's fairly easy. Yeah. Okay. I'm sure you've had experience, you know how to give a good hand job, and then you do it. Favorite thing in the world. Okay, well, work. Okay, but I okay, just like but there's it's so many other better things but to it's, do. Like, no, it's but again, you just said you're a partnership. You guys have to like work together. School. Feels like high school. It feels like you just like got done with a with, with a movie and now you didn't you do know, it you're with your give a hand job with your mouth and then. you parked outside of your mom's house and you give him a hand job before you go in, in inside and you pray to God that your mom didn't see any of it. No, like no. that's, that's kind of how I feel. You just said you guys are partners. That's part of it. You, you have know. to make an effort. You have to kind of, well, that's what I, yeah, something. that's that I think is, is something that, that I'm working on. You know, you have to do something. Yeah. It, it's yeah. just like, it's just like, think about, think about if he no, couldn't, his, couldn't his have, happiness means a lot to me. And I, and I his hat, Penis will his be very. Penis, I mean, his, right. his, 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 yes. his penis will be penis very. Yeah, exactly. Really. We'll be it's, very happy if you take care of the little man, like a little bit here and there. Let's do it. Or you, and, 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 you could always also give head. It's great. Head, head, morning, boom, head. There you go. Before bed, give a little head. You'll be very happy. Yeah. Yeah. That's part of being I a partner, to, in my opinion. Yeah. Okay. I get that. I get that. All right. Fine. Fine. Yeah, I have extra Point coconut taken. oil. You want some? No, I do not want to take your I'll coconut, use some oil. coconut oil. Oh, please, please don't. I use it for cooking. I use it for cooking. You use on yourself to use on on my baby daddy. That's no, not actually, happening. yeah, that's super weird. But yeah, anyways, I, yeah. I don't actually doing it myself. It I much rather when my girlfriend would do it to me. Okay, it's so much better. Point taken. Point taken. And it but, will. It will. It's not the same. Also for guys, by the way, I don't know if you know this, but I'm sure it's good for women, but. Like if a woman come from head, if a man gave head, it's not the same. You, you're satisfied, but you're not fully satisfied because it wasn't from actual sex. It's the same thing. It's like it's like eating those keto cookies, you know? Yeah. It's like it, it fits. It, it's a cookie, but it's not quite the real thing, right? It doesn't <laughs> achieve the same the same pleasure than the fully loaded of sugar one. Yeah. So it's the same thing with a hand job. He'll feel good for a little so bit. So it's, it's gonna not. be like a keto cookie. It'll be, yeah, give him it'll a be, keto. It'll cookie. be like a ginger snap as opposed to a chocolate chip. Exactly. Right? And just do it. It's not no. the same, but it's something. I understand. Especially, especially from what I understand, he's been so good throughout this he's whole been thing. So good for he's for been, a lot of it. I, I feel like that's been the only issue where he's gotten really down and went and it sucks because I can tell if we haven't you know, done it for a, f a few days. Like he, he just gets down and I can't blame him. I mean, like there'd be a lot, there'd be some resentment. If you're listen, if, if your body hasn't changed, your ho hormones haven't fluctuated at all and nothing about the way you feel is different. Um, I can see how that would, you would be a little resentful, but at the same time, Julian, I'm a little resentful sometimes. I, I try not to be resentful sometimes. You know why? Because all of my outlets have gotten taken away from me. And by that, I mean like like the drinking thing, right? Mm. I would love to have a, a cocktail or two to like alleviate the stress and and the mental game that comes along with being pregnant. I would I would love to drink that away, you know, honestly. I get it. And, and, and giggle, it, giggle it away and go out with my friends. I would love to, you know, go to the gym and see progress in my body and start sweating and, you know, but, feel good and sore the next day. But these are all things you can do out of your control. What you can't control is how you treat your man. Yeah. You can't control that. You can't control not being able to drink. You can't do that. You can't control not going to the gym. It's not no, healthy. You but can't it do it. But it's not, it's not good for my mental health. <laughs> to what? To not have those things to do. But it's, yeah, but it's not no because outlet. it's not because you're suffering from it that on top of that, your partner has to, if you can, because what, he'll I be to suffer alone. No, he's here. What do you mean? He's here all with you the whole way. He's been here. He goes, he helps you out with, if you have mental, mental breakdown, he's here. Everything. All, all he asks is to come once in a while. That's all you got to do. And then, and by the way, the more you do that, I'm sure the better he'll be with you at home, well, taking I'm care of gonna, your emotions. I'm not going to use sex as a currency or, or, or hand jobs as a currency. It's not about a currency. Is you're making your man happy. A happy man makes you even happier. He's even more available. Well, what more, about my happiness? You what can't about? have it right now. <laughs> it's not because, well, I can't be happy, so you can't. It's just no. Actually, what? 
if she's yeah. happy, you'll be happier. So, I, make, so screw Jen. She doesn't. She doesn't need to be it, happy right now. It's the the things that makes you happy. You can't have. So why should he suffer from this? He's already suffering enough. He can't have sex with you. You can't have sex with him. So at least so please the man. So, so he has all these outlets. He can drink as much coffee as he wants whenever he gets exhausted. He can go to the gym. He can he can have a uh, two, three, four cocktails, and then now I have to do something that maybe I'm not in the mood for hormonally or whatever it might be. I have to take one for the team as, as you're insinuating and, and make him happy despite my own lack of happiness on so many fronts. I think that's unfair. Well, to me, what's the, the real problem here is that you, you're, you're seeing giving a hand job to your man as a task. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the real problem. If you love your man, you, pleasuring him should give you some sort of pleasure. It's not the same as, as, as obviously experiencing it with them. But knowing that this is men, men, men show love and receive love through sex. It's well, different. What about me receiving love? He's giving you everything you want. He's taking bath and staring at you for <laughs> in your <laughs> eyes. Staring at you and staring at your eyes, just the way you ask for it. He's doing it. I didn't it. ask for any of that. Exactly, honestly. that was so, his idea. Okay, do you realize how lucky you are? That I, know men says lucky. So I know I'm lucky. I know that I'm lucky. I know I'm lucky. It's insane. <laughs> he's literally every time you say how perfect the guy is, he's been helpful with your pregnancies. They're all along the way. And it's it's not it's not about what about me. He's giving a lot already. It's just sexually speaking. That's all he needs. And it's true. We feel validated as men. We feel loved as men through sex. Yeah. So you you acting, doing a sexual act of pleasure for him validates him, makes him shows him that you're he's wanted, shows him that you love him, and, and that's all simple. And a good hand job again, it could take four four minutes. It's four minutes. It's like just play a song, and by the song is over, <laughs> play the, the, a song. The, the, the task is finished. Play a song. My dishes last long. I have to clean my dishes longer than a uh, hundred <laughs> So that's it. I'm it's, telling it's you. Just it's a cluster, Julian. It's a cluster. And no, then, I, here, listen. I'm sorry, but it's, this is a little cop out. I'm not going to give this one to you. I think you. you oh. I know it's hard. I can't even imagine how hard it is to carry a child. But I can't. You have to, as a partner, you have to take on. Your, as and a you're partner, a strong but person. you also have to. Patience is a two way street, and you have to be very. But patient he has with been patient. He has been, but I'm saying for for maybe the guys out there who don't know how to be patient or who are still learning that. Like well, there's a lot of things that like go through and, and I'm sure I'm, I cannot be the only person who's had these conversations. I'm sure not. I'm sure not. When it comes to being That's a pregnant, good point. Like the That's hormonal outbursts. Let me tell you, those, those are no joke. Um, and, and you can't, you can't even understand what that feels like, but the closest thing that I, I can explain it to is like, it just feels like a sudden, really strong urge to, to start crying. Like it's like a, like a surge of sadness and like, there's nothing that you can really do about it. And it's, it can be brought on any, anything can trigger it. And it lasts like maybe five to 10 minutes and, and then it passes. But like in those outbursts, like I've heard of women going full rage on their partners, mm -hmm. like anger. I've never experienced that before. I've just, I just get sad, but the anger is a big problem. And like, as a partner, I just think that that is, if, if you don't know what that feels like, you can't understand it. You can't relate to it. And like, I don't even think that you really would know how to deal with it. The best way for anybody who's listening, who's like going through something like that or has gone through something like that is just like breathe with them, let them know that this is like a temporary thing and then wait for it to pass because it will pass. And he's doing it. He does. Yeah, he does. Yes, he does all of it. So, I know, perfect. yeah, I know. And he taught me that actually. Exactly. So there you so, go. He taught me that about myself. So you see, you're not alone it, in the whole process. No, He's there. But I just think it take it takes. But also, we have gotten really good at communicating and being being understanding and patient with each other. Because he's going through changes, too. I mean, like mentally, he's gearing up to be a father. He didn't yeah. count on any of this happening. But just you, like I didn't count I on any of this happening. I get it. So, so that, uh, to me, that's even more of a reason to just 
again, there's, you know, it's all about extremes, right? If he wanted to be intimate with you every day, and he, that's, that's a clear sign that he's not understanding what you're going through, and he's just not taking your feelings into consideration. This, I'd be like, yo, fuck off. No, he stopped trying. You know, so, yeah, because he... <laughs> You know, and also and that's one thing bad. too. Like As I guys, feel- we don't, we hate having to ask. I know. We hate having to he, ask. He stopped asking. Like He's going to stop asking. I and, know. And I hate that. I hate that. And I guarantee you like, even him as because i think so like as a partner you have to try to make your partner as shitty as you feel sometimes you're down and then your partner will lift you up but sometimes if you feel like shit you have to be the strong one and be like okay i'm gonna give something extra to my partner and i'm pretty sure that if out of the blue you start giving him something sexual you know first of all his stress about becoming a father his stress at work and his stress about making sure he's here for you will be a little bit better he'll feel better and then he'll be even a better uh, partner to you. So everybody wins. Yeah, I just think know? it's, you know, it, it it's just been a, a little bit of a tough time. And I think it's I think it would be tough on any any marriage, any partnership. If you've been together for, you know, three months or or three years, I think that having a kid, introducing a kid into the equation is like anything goes. And you just have to be really prepared. And I don't think I was prepared for like the whole relationship, not relationship, but the whole like sexual uh, body image part of it all. I mean, if he gained 30 pounds in nine months, dude, he'd jump out of a building. I know he would. I think that you would actually. If yeah. He gained 30 pounds in, in eight, nine months. You'd feel like total I, ass. I and, get it. I, I, I know, I think that would, but, it would, but it also how my partner handles that would also be a huge factor. But how you handle it. But how I handle it would be, I'd say there's 60 to 70% would be me. Oh, how yeah. I, I feel like shit. But if my partner is still after, after this 30, like the remaining 30% of it, if she is still sexually attracted to me and making feel like I'm wanted, it would make the whole experience much better. Now, your man is still w- wants to have sex with you. I'm I sure know, a lot of men I, don't. I, I, I don't. Well, I'm about to say I, different. You have one, that one guy who's, still, who's like, he's he into finds it. Me, yeah. Super attractive. So, this is insane. It's not, I don't know how it works, but I'm sure a lot of men kind of wants to. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm I don't thankful know. that I don't know what it's like to be in any kind of partnership other than so, that. Because I would you know, cherish it because you could be with a guy who's like, ew, I do. No. And then he's out and then he's doing this. He's I always tell him every day. I'm like, you're so handsome. Whenever he first wakes up in the morning, so his just hair's do it all fluffy. While doing I'm a- like, you're so handsome. Like, you know, are you okay? And I, I, that's something else I think that's important too, is like just checking in on each other, on each other. Yes. Um, and, and making sure that each other you're okay. And even if it gets annoying, like I, I know that I've asked him a thousand times last night. I'm like, are you, are, how are you doing? And he, he doesn't tell me right away, but when he does, what does he say? He's like, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. And he just, he had his, <laughs> he had this like hooded sweatshirt on and he had the hood over his head and he wasn't looking at me and he was just eating his yogurts before he went in for work. And he was like, I'm good. I'm fine. I'm like, no, you're not fine, dude. No, you're not fine. You're not even looking. At, I can't even see your face. All right he now. wants is a, a BJ. <laughs> That's all. Give the man some release. <laughs> and you could tell him you're so handsome while you're doing it. <laughs> Well, I swear to God, then I mean, that's fine. Listen, it's fine. We're going to be having a lot of sex anyway um, in the last couple of weeks be- to get the baby out. <laughs> if for the only reason okay, to get the, the baby out. Yeah, but don't don't say it like that. It's for that. Just, no, I'm not going to say that. If it's for practical reason, it doesn't make it um, very. But I, I, you know, it's it's listen, I loved having sex with him before before I got pregnant. I it, it brought me closer to him like it. It. I love the intimacy of it. I like the vulnerability of it, like all of that stuff. It's more emotional for me, clearly, but that's fine. That's fine. I, it, made listen. Me, it made me feel desired. Yeah, he is instead making of looking, you feel instead desired. of looking in the mirror and seeing a he's making you feel desired too. beach ball. So I think you need to man up here and just, you know, get to work. <laughs> get to work. I swear this will be you. so good. Take care of your man. Oh, He's God. been taking amazing care you of you. You know, me. I feel like this is one of those. <laughs> this is one of 
one of our classic conversations. This is this conversation should have happened on the rooftop of yeah, restoration, of the restoration hardware. Hardware. <laughs> That's the ones. But and okay, every time I've given you some type of like pep talk like this, I think it's been pretty successful. It's been yeah. It's so been I'm telling you, like if if maybe not tonight, but tomorrow, surprise it with him, wake him up with this something. Oh my god. He's going to be so well, I don't see him. Happy. I don't see him for like the next two days because he's like getting crushed at work. Whenever then. OK, whenever he shows up, just, you know, he enters the house is what you do, right? He enters the house like, hi, whatever. Nah, 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 and then just grab his hand and come here and then lay him on the f and then lay him on the bed and then take his pants off. And he's going to maybe be like, oh, what's what's happening? What's happening? Like, don't worry about it. Boom. Tack, tack, tack. Four minutes later. Tack, done. Tack, tack. Tack, tack, tack. That's, that's, that's your done you will have the happiest man at home right, and then so. he's going to be done and then he's going to be like okay what this was amazing thank you so much going to be very appreciative because he knows you're not necessarily in the mood but you did that for him which is very appreciated as a man and then you know he'll probably go up and make you dinner and make sure you're good yeah. it was like i had my four minutes i'm good i'll just order from oh. postmates so all, all it takes is like a tack, tack, tack. That's it. Just take all a right. tack, 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 tack. That's I it. I got it. Got it. Fine. I'm Fine. telling you, this will work. All right. Um, can that be it? Can we be? Can we be done with this? <laughs> <laughs> with this topic? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sure, we yeah. can. So yeah, oh, you know how you asked me how was Carmel? Carmel was. I mean, I I I liked it, but the food was so bad. I don't know where'd you go in Carmel. Uh, well, Wait, I went. So we should tell people that you that you went to Carmel. Yeah, I went to so, Carmel. Yeah. I went to Carmel uh, went to with Carmel my girlfriend. With your girlfriend, and, and then we, we took yeah. a trip. We we did the whole road like from here, uh, um, San um, no, what's uh, Santa Barbara? Then we did uh, Solvang. Have you heard of Solvang? I have. Solvang is like a little but, Danish town in the yeah, middle. Yeah, 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 it is. Which it is, is really cool. I heard about that. I got some cookies from Solvang if you want some. They're yeah, really I do, good. actually. I'll get you some. Okay. They're really bomb. Uh, and then we we stopped by uh, Seal. We went to the Madonna Inn in San Luis Yeah, I love Madonna Inn. That's where my friend got married. It's tacky as fuck. Hey, but it was super cool. Not where they stayed. And then after that, we uh, we went. Did you, stay? To... did you stay at the? No, Madonna? so no, no, no. So what we did is we drove all the way to um, Big Sur, and then in Big Sur we stayed. A, we glamped. It was my first time. Ooh. So it's camping oh, I the, on. I saw the bed. Yeah. And they're like a little tent. In like a major tent. That's really cool. That's really, really we, cute. It was 40 degrees at night, though. So we we're frozen and we both slept with our um, hoodies and. Um, it's no action stuff. for you that night. No action. Not, no. not at all. None. Honestly, we're but Big too cold. Sur's beautiful. I love Big Sur. Yeah, it was it's nice. like my happy place there. You went to you went to the post ranch in? Oh, uh, we were there? right across and I tried, but they only you not you can't go for lunch unless you're a hotel guest and the night is like 900 bucks a night. And we could only go to dinner, but we were there only the first night and we wanted to have dinner in the tent like camp style. So that didn't work. Uh, so then we went to Carmel and in Carmel, I went to this restaurant, French restaurant called Bicyclette, which uh, they have one here, which is amazing. And then after that, we kind of went with people's recommendation, the waitress, our server, whatever, what do you recommend? Every place we went to was, first of all, super expensive and the food was not very good. Man, I would have told you to go to the, the place at Pebble Beach. Um, and you, you know, Pebble Beach is yeah, right? the golf, golf, golf course. Golf. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we did that. We did a 17 mile drive. Yeah, but but there's a restaurant there that's really good, and it overlooks the 18th hole. Fuck. Yeah. I know. See, why you ask me? I know. And listen, it's but, okay. But all these recommendations from people who you probably aren't even that good of friends with. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, do we have do you get that to guest? Um, Sandra from New Jersey. Let's do it. She said, "Question for your podcast. I th I think I want to date again, but two things: still hurting from the ex, and I've been told I'm too nice." How do I overcome this? I'm not changing being nice. That's me and I'm happy. Okay, first of all, she love that. Change who she is and shouldn't change being nice. No, I love that. We need more people like that. We need more human beings like that. Um, so don't change being nice. It just depends on what that signals to an, a guy you're interested in. And frankly, maybe you're, you're interested in the wrong kind of guy. Yep. I was about to say if that you're not attracted to, to guys who will respect and appreciate the fact that you you're are nice. a nice, kind human being, then those are not the kind of guys that you want to go. But for then anyway. again, you know, if you're nice, how do you protect your? How do you stay true to yourself while also protecting yourself from being taken advantage of? Yeah. Right. Do you just stay nice, but just keep a little bit of distance? Yeah. 
But then doesn't that become not being full of yourself and then you're playing games? Well, it also sounds to me like she is still recovering from the ex. Are you for or against uh, rebounds? I am absolutely for it. Okay. So. I, think the, I do think the best way to get over somebody is to get under somebody. I am a strong proponent of, of doing what you can to, to, to get it over make it. peace with yourself. Yes. So I would say just get back, Sandra. Get back in the dating pool. Even if it's just like a fling, even if it's just like a temporary thing and you know this is not going to last, whatever it is, um, do what you can to, to repair your heart. And then maybe the next person after that will be the one who you spend longer time with. Or yeah. who you really click with. Yeah, yeah, But it's yeah. true. I mean, you have, to, you have to open yourself up to new opportunities. And I know it hurts. I know that, you know, the next person you're with after a breakup is not going to feel as, I guess, important. And, and you're not going to feel as close to that person as you did and comfortable with that person as you did with the ex. And that's tough to get over. I think that's the toughest part to get over when you're trying to get over an ex because yeah. I've done it before. You're like out with someone new and you're like, oh, but they're not, oh, so-and-so would have mm. said this or so-and-so would have yeah. done this. And you find yourself constantly comparing the next guy to the old guy, which is why you gotta, you gotta have yourself a sexy little fling. Yeah, as, I, I as agree. I think, I think like having a rebound, but also making sure your rebound knows that you're not ready for anything. So yeah, you, don't, you don't, you don't end up like crushing the their yeah. heart. Uh, and then as hurt to being people, nice, people. yeah, I know. Uh, and as for being nice, you'd have, you know, stay, stay true to yourself, but maybe just, uh, it sucks, but like hold, hold back a little bit until, until you get to know the person a little bit more so that you could actually be your true self, mm -hmm. I guess that's yeah. But the hurt people hurt people. Yeah. Right. I'm glad mm -hmm. you appreciate the the play on words. No, no, no. Yeah, it's the very clever one. Yeah, it's not mine. Uh, All right. Um, so that does it for this episode. So I'm the moral of the story is what's the moral of the story, Jen? I, I guess if you're pregnant, give your partner a hand job every nice. once in a while. Right? Yes. That's, that's it. The, that's the point. Coconut oil.